it's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning, this is Bob Payne, the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. And a week ago Friday, the U.S. raised tariffs on 200 billion of Chinese products. Predictably, this week, China responded with tariffs of its own, rattling the markets for a drop of just over 2% this past Monday. Now, this response appears to have been more sentiment-driven than fundamental, since the market rallied strongly for the rest of the week on good economic news and continued good earnings reports. U.S. housing starts in April rolled in about 3% better than expected. First-time jobless claims came in at 212,000 versus the consensus view for 219,000, and the Philadelphia Fed's business outlook gauge hit 16.6 in May versus the estimate for only 9.3. With the majority of companies reporting their earnings for the quarter, 74% have beaten expectations, and earnings grew year over year versus the consensus expectation that earnings would actually decline 3% from last year. So is the correction over, or for that matter, did we even have a correction? See, a stock market correction is generally defined as a decline of at least 10% from the recent high. And now with most indices, barely 2 or 3% below the recent highs that we set just this time last month, we can hardly call this a correction. However, volatility has been extreme over the last two weeks, and volatility is simply the price of admission for above average return in risk assets like stocks. Now, all dips in history in the market have been temporary, and therefore, all dips are buying opportunities, especially in a big, booming bull market like we've had over the past 10 years. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have the portfolio that's appropriate to my goals, to my dreams, to my risk tolerance? Why sit there and wonder when you can know? All you have to do is text or call 844-752-752. 6692, that's 844 752 6692.